uh, sorry, it's quite different from the intercepts. So the intercept gives you something here. Can you see? The intercept is here, but the value is here. Okay? So you can always use this with three dimensional. So this is what it looks like you know, from another dimension. You can see clearly. Any question? So just play around with this. If you if you don't want three dimensional, just check two dimensional graphs online, put this equation and see what it looks like. Any question with that? What are you looking at? <laughs> Leave my children alone. I do want to say that. They're trying to tell me like, they are sick. I'm also so sick. You have a question? Because uh, we have less than 10 minutes. Uh, okay. Do you have a question? It's yeah. just on the camera from like the numbers, like the S's and the R's. The numbers here? Yeah. Mm, it's alright. Well, at least you can see the red part of this yeah. and stuff. Okay, any questions? So I'll put one of the, maybe someone can come and help me pass this out. Can we have different people? Twice. Don't stop. You take them out and pass it, you have to be fast, please. We have less than 10. Take them out and pass it to the next person. So look at those questions. So slow. Not have one. Maybe there are extras. If nobody is extra. oh, Who is not here? Okay. Is anyone seeing Anika today? No, she's out. Who? Cherry. Cherry. Cherry is absent. Anyone seeing them today? No. Alright, so we keep it. I'll send Justin's through his brother so she gets it today. So okay, that's why we have three left. First part is for you to do the maximum minimum, and the other part is for you to sketch. While the last part is for you to, you know, give me the equation of the sketch that I put there. Would anyone be confused when you see this type? Because I only did the one with x squared and I only did the one with positive. Would anyone be confused? Or we do, we've done negative before, right? So you just do the same thing. What? What, what? what would you do? Anyone give me an idea? Yanko, how do you take out the negative? Out the negative? You rearrange it first, okay? You could do it without arranging anyway, but okay. So after this, oh wait, this is plus here. So I put it plus here, right? Yeah. Okay, so what do I do now? Class, I need everyone's contribution now. What do we do? You factorize. 
Factorize what? Uh, two. Minus 2. So what do I have in the bracket? X squared. X squared. X squared. Uh, minus. Three. Minus. Remember this was plus. 3 out of 2. 3 out of 2 X. Okay? So this is where you begin. Do you remember this type of problem? We have done it before. Do you want me to continue? Okay. So at this point, if you know what to do, don't worry. If you need this, please look at the board. So Yanko, so we are going to do completely the square on this. Maybe you missed the class when I taught this. Yes. Okay. Uh, can you can you check if this part is being captured also? Yes. All right. So here we have x squared minus three over two x. We're going to add something, subtract it within the bracket, and the plus two is waiting right outside. Can you see that? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. There, okay. Uh, you remember now, yeah. so you can proceed on your. Yeah, or you yeah. want me to complete? Three, four, okay, let's do it together. So what do we have? Half times what? Times negative three over two, all squared, and that's negative three over four squared, right? Okay. So. Two plus two and two plus one is the same thing, right? Okay. After that, what do we say? Negative two like bracket. Negative two bracket. Uh, x. 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 Squares. No. But no. Yeah. We factorize. Yeah, uh, x. Uh, negative three out of four. Mm -hmm. Just square. Yeah. Okay. Double. Um, negative nine. Out of negative nine. Fourteen. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Still in the bracket, right? Yeah. So what do we do now? And just open the bracket. Open the bracket. So minus two. Then what next? Then then um, negative one. Negative what? They have nine out of sixteen plus. Like, uh, no, look at it clearly. Look at it very well. Oh, it's that's a, yeah. When you open the bracket with this, does it just affect this? No, uh, also affects it. So what is that? Uh, negative, negative, positive, like, positive, 18, 18. 18. You don't have to do that, you can write the simpler form, which is 9 over 8, okay. right? Minus 2 times minus 9 over 16, you can do this. Alright, so you have 9 over, or when you get to this one, you simplify, anyone. So I'm writing 9 over 8 plus 2, plus 2 over 1. So what is that fraction part? What is 2 in terms of 8 denominator? Not to you. Okay, to him. Can you stop? Can I finish with you first? Well, yes. What is 2? Because we want to add that. Yeah. So 2 would be like 8 plus 16. And then just add. So what is that? Plus 16 out of 8. Minus 2x. So what, do I, what is the next one? Um, 25, um, yeah, 25 out of 8, like that. Yeah. That's right. I try to use half and negative half, negative 2. The sum of roots is minus 3 over 2. The product is minus 1. So x squared is minus sum of roots. Oh, this should be plus. And product minus 1. So 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. If I put it the other way. Oh, this should have been minus. This should have been minus. Okay, so that's why I'm not getting what I wanted to get. Okay, so this is minus, this is plus. This is what plus. Ah. I see. I see. It's a question. Because I'm trying to get the whole number, alright? I don't want to get decimal. That's why I'm changing this. So, this is plus, plus, plus. So, if this is minus now, Yanko, what does it become? So, that's like 9 minus 16. I still have 8. Where does that 8 come from? Yeah, from the 16. Yeah, I think so. Because this is the solutions I want to get. These are the solutions I want to get. 
So the equation will be x squared minus the sum. The sum is negative 3 over 2 plus the product, which is minus 1. So the equation should be 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. So if I reverse it, I get a minus 2. So I get my minus 2 plus 3. Oh, I think I know what the problem is now. So if I multiply by negative 2 minus 3x minus 2, is that what I have? So this is 2. Sorry. Let's see. But even that still looks like it's the same thing. Except that. Yeah. Did I do anything wrong? 2 minus, minus, yeah, 2 minus, minus, yeah. So if we move this here, you must write this is T plus. Can anybody see if you can factorize this? Anyway, to factorize, check the b squared minus 4ac. If it's a square number, then you are good. b squared is what? 9. Minus 4ac means minus 4 times minus 2 times 2. So this is 9 plus 16, 25. Then it can be factorized. So I shouldn't get something that gives me... Uh, Okay, I think I know what the problem is now. All right, this two is here. We're good. Anyways, so what is this one? Is it 25? Yeah. Over eight. Okay, so we are still good. Yeah, we are still good. So from here you can get the x value. From here you can get the turning point. But like I said, you don't have to solve the equation first. You can actually get the answer from here. Oh my goodness! Time is over like two minutes extra. Even the other class finished late, I didn't take note. So if you, if you solve this equation, if you put this is equal to zero, remember you have to divide by negative two. I've not asked you to come in. Don't walk into my class like that. If you divide by two, this becomes 16, and that is how it has a solution, all right? OK, everyone quickly. This is the other one. So there are two quickly. Add this out quickly. I can quickly stop that and pass this out. Everybody see where you are. Can pass this out. I'm bringing back the last three. Sorry, please. Homework? Yeah. Can you stop? Uh, Candy, can you stop it now? I don't want to stop. Oh, sorry.